Hello and welcome to another of Dantry Museum's instructional videos. This time it is to do with the dis discovery and development of radar, which is a means of, of detecting the presence of aircraft or ships by means of a radio detection using radio beams. Now, during the two world wars, it was realised that Germany was uh, re-equipping with aircraft and there was a strong possibility that there were, an attack would be launched on Britain. In order to detect when the aircraft were coming, a, a method was needed to display when the enemy aircraft were approaching the country. Various ideas were proposed, but Watson Watt, a scientist, proposed that we use radio waves. He had noticed that radio communication in the presence of aircraft was interrupted in a peculiar way. And he developed this to form the basis of radar. In order to make an initial experiment to prove if the system worked, they held the Daventry experiment, as it was called. In 1935, they set up in a field near Lichborough, which is the south of Weedon, a, a, a sensitive receiving apparatus, and they used the signal from Daventry transmitting station, which at the time was transmitting shortwave signals to the world, as a source of radio signal. Watson Watt and his assistants set this following apparatus up in the field near Lichborough. There was a receiving aerial which consisted of several wires on poles in the field and that fed to a receiver which picked up the transmission from Daventry and that was fed into um, a new invention which was an oscilloscope. Th this device turns electrical signals into visual movements. This piece of equipment here represents the transmitting station at, at Daventry on Borough Hill. The signal from this a transmitter then travels directly eight miles south to the aerial in the field. When the plane, which was a bomber, flies in the path of that signal, above it, then you have a direct signal and you also have one that bounced off the plane. That's if the system works, <laughs> which they didn't know at the time. So as the plane flew, the two signals reached the uh, receiver at slightly different times. It took longer for the signal to bounce off the plane than the direct one. So the way those signals interacted enabled them to show that there was a plane moving in the vicinity. In order to demonstrate, I will now fly the plane between the two signals and you you should see on the oscilloscope a movement of the spot and that movement showed them that the plane was moving and they could also work out the speed it was going of course there had to be a whole series development following that in order to perfect it so that you could actually tell where the planes were in the sky. Nowadays, radar has got a variety of uses. After the 
armed forces used it, particularly the uh, RAF in the war, it was used commercially, mainly nowadays for spotting planes coming into land and leaving from airports. <coughs> There's also equipment on ships, so you can see where the other ships are in the fog and the night. It's also, of course, used in speed detection cameras. So next time you get caught speeding, blame radar. <laughs>